God, come to my assistance. God, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Jesus, we adore thee. Upon the cross, our King, we humbly bow before thee, and of thy victories sing. Thy cross is our salvation, our hope from day to day. Our peace and consolation, when life shall fade away. O sacred head surrounded by crown of piercing thorn, O bleeding head so wounded, reviled and put to scorn, the power of death comes o'er you, the glow of life decays, yet angel hosts adore you and tremble as they gaze. Day after day I sat, teaching you in the temple, and you did not lay hands on me. Now you come to scourge me and lead me to the cross. Your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. I have sworn and have made up my mind to obey your decrees. Lord, I am deeply afflicted. By your word, give me life. Accept, Lord, the homage of my lips and teach me your decrees. Though I carry my life in my hands, I remember your law. Though the wicked try to ensnare me, I do not stray from your precepts. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I set myself to carry out your will in fullness forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Day after day, I I sat teaching you in the temple, and you did not lay hands on me. Now you come to scourge me and lead me to the cross. The Lord God is my help. No shame can harm me. Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, 
nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand happiness forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord God is my help. No No shame shame can can harm me. The Lord Jesus humbled himself by showing obedience, even when this meant death, death on the cross. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name. So that at Jesus' name, every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father. Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled humbled himself by showing obedience, even when this meant death, death death on on the cross. Realize that you were delivered from the feudal way of life your fathers handed on to you, not by any diminishable sum of silver or gold, but by Christ's blood beyond all price, the blood of a spotless, unblemished lamb, chosen before the world's foundation and revealed for your sake in these last days. It is through him that you are believers in God, the God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory. Your faith and hope, then, are centered in God. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your cross you have redeemed the world. We praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. Praise to our King, the Son of David, the Redeemer of the world. Praise to the Savior, whose coming had been foretold by the prophets. Thy soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Thy spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. 
He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to our King, the Son of David, the Redeemer of the world. Praise to the Savior, whose coming had been foretold by the prophets. Before his passion, Christ looked out over Jerusalem and wept for it because it had not recognized the hour of God's visitation. With sorrow for our sins, let us adore him and say, Lord, have mercy on your people. You longed to gather to yourself the people of Jerusalem as the hen gathers her young. Teach all peoples to recognize the hour of your visitation. Lord, have mercy on your people. Do not forsake those who have forsaken you. Turn our hearts to you, and we will return to you, our God. Lord, have mercy on your people. Through your passion you gave grace to the world. Help us to live always by your Spirit, given to us in baptism. Lord, have mercy on your people. By your passion, help us to deny ourselves and so prepare to celebrate your resurrection. Lord, have mercy on your people. You reign in the glory of the Father. Remember those who have died today. Lord, have mercy on your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, you have given the human race, Jesus Christ our Savior, as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering and make us worthy to share in his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.